Welcome everybody, it is Andrew here from Apple Insider. I am at CES 2023 to bring you a first hands-on look at the all-new massive Samsung Odyssey Neo G9, which is a 57-inch gaming monitor, and it is an absolute beast. This has a resolution of 60 or 7680 by 2160, which is technically 8K on the horizontal, and it has a pixel density of 140 PPI. It uses mini LED tech, which gives you a million to one contrast ratio and support for HDR 1000. It has a matte finish on it and a 240 refresh rate with a response time of only one millisecond. And of course, this won a 2023 CES Innovation Award. It is, of course, a curved display here and just watching people play on it and taking it for a spin myself, it is an incredibly immersive design. Now, the only downside here for Apple users is technically this is running on DisplayPort 2.1, to power this massive display, and currently Macs do not support that, so that could change by the time this thing actually hits store shelves, which should be sometime next year. The other monitor that I want to check out is this guy. This is the Viewfinity S9, and if it looks familiar, it's because Apple is taking on the studio display. So this is a 5K display with a 27-inch panel, and it looks really similar to Apple's display, uh, but I think it's gonna be coming in at a much better price point, and I think it looks awesome. It's got this sleek design, and has a matte finish on the display itself that looks awesome. Incredible viewing angles here. Along the back, we can still see nice Nice, sleek, and compact. Near the top, you can see where the slim fit camera will attach. It's a 4K camera that can attach to this guy. It covers 99% of the P3 wide color gamut, and it has some other neat features. One of those neat features is the ability to color calibrate the screen using the Smart Things app. So here I have uh, an Android device logged into the Smart Things app connected to the monitor. So I'm going to go through the setup process here. It's going to ask me to like ac access the camera. I'm going to hold it up to the display. Normally you would attach this to a tripod as it runs, but we're just going to hold it up here for the demo. It's going to flash a bunch of different colors to the uh, phone's camera, and here's your report afterward, giving you all of your actual calibration data that is very important for anyone who is using this as a reference monitor of any sort. And here you can see the before and after. So here's calibrated versus original picture, and it definitely looks better post calibration. This is super cool. Great monitor, smart TV features built in. This is going to give Apple Studio Display a run for its money. So that's it. Checking out Samsung's new monitors here at CES 2023.